Okay, so this new boss, the Wasteland Titan, is the second in the Infertile Codex so far. I'm not sure what the third one is. I don't have any information on Forerunner, although this has already happened there. Uh, the Conqueror has just ended, and it's Wasteland Titan. So this one is really interesting. This is definitely my favorite of the two so far, and the one I'm by far better at. Um, and that's primarily because I really like the mechanics. Um, so there's basically a bunch of statues, which you gotta heal, and when they're around above 50% HP, they are able to attack, and they do all the damage for you, because you can't actually really hit the golem, and even if you can, uh, it won't do any damage. So, what you basically have to do is you gotta put as many healers as you can to keep the statues up, and the Wasteland Titan will be continuously hitting them over and over. So I'm just going to go over my strategy, uh, the better strategies than I even have, because I obviously am missing some key units where if you have them you could go a lot higher, probably even top top 5% if you have a second cleanser, I only have one, um, things like that. But this is basically just what you do to get to the top 10%. Um, but anyways, so I would say the most crucial thing to know about the boss, apart from the fact that it does damage and it's going to hit the statues down, which you want to keep up, is, um, I'm not sure where it says, yeah, here, deals high physical damage to the statues and inflicts one stack of anti-healing effect. That's really important to know, because the anti-healing is going to be a big issue, especially if you don't have the legendary cleansing options, as there's only one, well technically two non-legendary cleansers, the other one is a rare and does not matter because he sucks. The other non-legendary cleanser being Midan, who's very important for this fight. I'm pretty sure most people have her, if not everyone, and um, she's really good because on her ultimate, I should skill her up, I've, I've been putting that off, but I don't have any skill crystals right now. Anyways, her ult um, dispels all but all uh, debuffs in f from the allies in range and this is incredibly important she, mine is only level 50 but she is not my main healer though she does do a lot of healing uh, I'm using vortex because he's geared the best and he's really good I'm using hollow for the rage and because she also heals pretty well Aelin I pulled recently and I six starter just for this stage she's really good she's surprising me she out heals vortex most of the time who is by far the best built. Um, I'll go over the, the builds in a second, but anyways. And then Nisande is also really surprising me. I 6 starter just for this, but it didn't really make that big of a difference. I have her A3, which get, I uh, use the Soul Stone for this, even though I don't recommend it. Um, when she's on the field, just increases attack speed for all deployed heroes. I figure she'll be good for faction sewers, whatever. Or, not sewers, <laughs> faction... Um, the faction levels. And then Dolores, I purely just do not have another healer. Um, so that's why she's here. She doesn't buff very well because this, the statues have such a high attack that her added attack barely does anything. But she heals almost as much as my light lock because he's so bad for me that it's just, there's no reason not to have them in. But the best options by far, let me go to the rankings quickly, is um, something you will see in Every top team is Elowin. Every team. Elowin is in every team. Because she has a cleanse. She has a like full map. Really good heal with her sprite. She recovers rage. She's the perfect healer. She might. She's debatably the best healer in the game. Now that there's a different healer added. Who's also really good. She might be the second best. But that's up to debate. She is insane. As you can see she's in every single team. Um. Looking at the f number one team, you can see she does a lot of healing, but Aelin does a lot, and the other person who is one of the best healers, debatably the best healer, is um, the new healer, um, Eunomia. She is insane, she heals a ton, and I think she buffs, and I'm pretty, sh I'm like 50, 60% sure that she cleanses, which is also really good. Um, she's very good. Sadie's good to uh, tank the hits. And she does a little bit of healing too, as you can see from the main teams. I don't have Sadie, Elowin, or Eunomia, because they are pretty rare. Well, maybe not Sadie, but I don't have her. So, this is what I have. It's primarily epics, Aelin's really good, and yeah, let's go into this. Uh, I'll go over the builds 
afterwards, but I'm just gonna do the boss fight first. So what I like to do is I like to put Aelin here so that she covers four statues. And then I found that Midan works best for me here to cover three statues. Although um, I really wish her range was better. I don't like that it goes behind her because I can only cover three statues at one time. So I'm just going to do it like this. I put Dolores here to cover three statues. Although, although her buff is not that substantial, it is still good to have. And I put her, this girl here because when she heals this statue and it gets to full, all her excess healing will bounce. So she can sometimes catch the one on the side. Um, I'm going to put Hollow here purely to... No, I'm going to put Hollow here so that her and Vortex can somehow, sometimes keep any um, uptime on this right here. And I'm going to put um, Midan... I mean, I'm going to put Vortex down here to cover this too. The idea is um, that this statue and this statue are going to sometimes be up. They might not be all the way up because I don't have enough cleansers and when they get the debuff they're gonna be um, very hard to heal but for the most part they might be up sometimes but anyways I like to put on auto Dolores all does not work on auto for some reason but I like to just have auto cast on so I don't have to do it because you will just wanna the the rage comes back so fast that you just kinda wanna toss everything out as much as possible but as you can see there's four um, statues up at a time this one's going to die because no one's on it. And then this one occasionally will get buff. I mean, will get healed up enough because of her doing a bunch of bouncing heroes. And it's not really that much. It, ideally, you would have two teams on the side with good enough gear because my gear is trash on my healers because I didn't really put much time into them and I'm a bit broke. But ideally, you would have like two sections of healers and, deep, and uh, cleansers. And... That would be by far the best thing to do, but I obviously cannot do that. So this is just what works for me. And, I mean, top 10% is pretty good. I don't think that's really a bad thing. But yeah, as you can see, damage is ramping up a ton, because there's a lot of statues up. The statue's going to die, unfortunately, but at least it got a bit of damage in there. I'm going to keep on lower assaulting, hoping for the best. And I think I could improve by helping out these uh, two statues a bit more with my placement, but this works. Anyways, ultimates are popping constantly. These three statues are always going to be up because they're always uh, cleansed and we'll get the full healing. Um, the two on the sides are struggling quite a bit because there, I, there are no cleanses on them. And as you can see, they get taken down. But now we just got to try to hold on as much as possible and deal as much damage as we can. Unfortunately, that was really bad. I think the timing was a bit off. Generally, at least on my best run, those um, those guys lived quite a bit longer. And that's why the score was so much higher. But this is pretty good. Almost a million. We're getting very close. And the boss kills us. Um, if I had better gear and better levels, and maybe, like, Elowin or something, I could probably break, like, 1.2 million, like, but, as I'll show you in a second, um, my gear is not great. <laughs> but anyways, let's go over the stats. Um, these don't really matter too, too much, but Aelin does really well. This is one of the best Aelin runs I've had. Vortex is really well, too, because he's built quite well, and he's just really nice to have. In general, he's such a good unit. Um, I've seen him go up to like 64 million, the healing does fluctuate a little bit, I'm not sure why. Dolores does whatever, she does her thing. Uh, Midan heals decently well, but she is primarily for the, the cleanse, and Nis, whatever her name is, does pretty well, pretty good healing, and she also does a little bit of buffing, so she's really good, and Hollow does a bit of rage regen, and does pretty well. Considering I have her in low attack for my guild boss team, so she doesn't heal as much as she could, she could definitely be a lot higher if you build her just for the stage, but obviously uh, she isn't for mine. But anyways, that's a pretty good score. I think that would get you 10% to get that score. Obviously a little bit higher will get you to not a top 9, but it doesn't really matter. And if you have better options, it's a lot easier. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go over my... Uh, my builds quickly, so give me one second. Um, these are not optimal builds, you want much better, but I have Aelin, I tweaked her HP a bit to be a bit higher so she lives a bit longer, 
She's really good. She surprised me so much. I heard that she was really good for the stage, but I wasn't expecting it. But, um, yeah, attack is pretty high. Like, really high. I have her attack pretty crazy. She has good attack speed, and ideally you would have more a H HE healing effect. But, obviously, I just slapped on some random gear. You know, I just, I just sorted for gear. Her attack could be a lot higher, but I don't have the gold, and her HP would be higher, so she would last longer. She doesn't really have any skills, and I put a random artifact on. Uh, Vortex is my best built. Uh, lots of HP, lots of attack speed, healing effect. Um, rage regen, I'm not sure if that matters too much for him. But yeah, that's the build. Max skilled, and with this artifact, uh, there, are pros there is probably a better artifact out there, but I don't have it. Dolores, just... Um, lots of attack, obviously. I tweaked Hollow's build a bit to have less attack. Unintentionally, I would have liked more attack, but it, it is my guild boss team, and I don't want to tweak her too much to where she's no longer as good in guild boss, because I am consistently hitting 20,000 or so. Um, but I gave her a bit more HP, so she could live a little bit longer. She has crazy attack speed and good rage regen. Um, Full skills, and I have this just to make it easier on me with certain timing aspects, and this random artifact on her. Lots of attack, lots of HP. Ideally, you want more healing effect and rage regen, and a lot more attack speed. You want a lot of attack speed on these healers, uh, but I didn't have attack speed there. Attack speed here. The gear isn't great. As you can see, I have her in Guardian some HP, I would like more, and she's only 5 stars. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, so just to recap, just uh, preferably at least 2 uh, cleansers, or 3 cleansers, so that you can cleanse the statues of their debuff, which makes them harder to heal. You want to just stack as much healing as possible, really strategically, in placement. If you don't have 2 uh, cleansers, you gotta group them up together and try to do your best with what you have. But if you have multiple, then just try to spread them out and heal as much as possible. The goal is to outlast, not to um, not to deal damage, basically, because the damage will come by the sustain. But anyways, hope this helps someone, and yeah, have a good day, guys.